It takes two people to apply a traction splint, one person to handle the injured extremity, and the second to apply the splint. You can determine the length of the splint by measuring the patient's uninjured leg. The upper cushioned ring should be placed under the buttocks adjacent to the ischial tuberosity. The distal end of the splint should extend beyond the ankle by approximately 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Position the straps on the splint to support the thigh and calf. Align the femur by manually applying traction through the ankle. Reassess the neurovascular status of the distal end of the injured extremity after applying traction. The padded portion of the splint should rest against the ischial tuberosity. Position the ankle hitch around the patient's ankle and foot while the other person maintains manual traction on the leg. The bottom strap should be slightly shorter than or at least the same length as the two upper crossing straps. Attach the ankle hitch to the traction hook while the other person maintains manual traction and support. Apply traction in increments using the windlass knob until the extremity appears stable or until pain and muscle spasm are relieved. Again, assess the neurovascular status of the injured extremity. If perfusion of the extremity distal to the injury appears worse after applying traction, gradually release the traction. Secure the remaining straps. Frequently reevaluate and document the neurovascular status of the extremity after every manipulation.